Hey everyone, my name is Megan Valenji and I'm one of the librarians here at Heartland Community College. And today I'm going to be going over resources for your Bio 191 class. And I'm going to be showing you two different research guides that has a lot of information about the library, all the up-to-date information about access to the physical library and the virtual library. And then I'm going to show you how to search for articles for specific research assignment. So let's get started. Um, all of the pages that we're going to visit will be linked down below. Also, there will be timestamps. So if you've already seen something, um, you can skip ahead. If you need to, to go back and um, review that, you're welcome to do that also. OK, so this is the um, Bio 191 LibGuide that you see on the screen. Um, it has some tabs here. We're going to go through those. Also, contact information. If you want to follow up with me about anything you see in the video, you can uh, click email me. Um, and we also have social media for the library um, for all the up-to-date information about what we're doing there. Um, you're welcome to follow those or check in with us there. All right. Um, so this guide has some more customized information for your class. So if we go to the Find Articles tab, I have some information about taking a look at a scholarly or academic or research article. So if you have never read one of those before, it, it might look a little bit daunting, might look a little scary to look at. Um, this page, if you click on this link, has a sample research article. And when you um, put your mouse over various sections, it gives you information about what those sections um, contain. So that once you start searching for articles um, on your topic or for your paper, you'll understand um, what these are all about. Um, so that is a super helpful um, site to take a look at. Under the Technical Writing tab, there is a link to the Purdue OWL Technical Writing Guide, which has examples of different scientific um, reports, how to format um, a technical writing paper, um, and also under the next tab, APA Citation Style, that has some links to um, various helper um, websites, um, APA style guide from Heartland, how to format various parts of an APA citation paper, uh, the Purdue OWL APA citation style website, um, Scribber, this is a um, citation style generator, uh, which I've tried out. Um, those are pretty accurate too. Um, and then a video on plagiarism and the five most common types of plagiarism. So if any of this um, is new to you, go ahead and go in and, and learn about each of these things. Um, take a look um, at these videos. Um, Scribber makes um, some really good videos that are pretty short um, and are very easy to understand. And then under the last tab, we've got evaluate sources. So this is, these are some guides to help you more for if you're on websites um, and trying to find information. These are some questions to ask yourself about um, the authenticity of information. Um, is there any bias to that information and is it accurate? Okay, I'm going back to the home page and um, I'll talk about various help that you can get from us at Heartland. Um, there are some links there as well at the end of the video. But what we're mainly going to do is go to this library resources for spring 2021. So for the spring semester, the, this guide, I'm going to go ahead and click on it, will have all of the most up-to-date information about the library. Um, because of COVID and um, the, the data um, breach and problems that we had last semester. This is going to be the most up-to-date and it's going to have information about the, the physical library, the virtual library, um, and all of um, the links that you'll need for this class and for um, any of your classes as well. 
Uh, you can see some of the tabs on the side, information about student IDs, database links, that's where we're going to go back to um, pretty quickly. Using iShare, if you're not familiar with that, iShare is a system that we have access to with all of the libraries um, in Illinois to get materials. If we don't have something, um, you may be able to find it through iShare. Using Google Advanced um, Searching and Google Scholar to find materials, um, book pickup service, um, and additional information. So feel free to go through um, any or all of those. What we're going to do is focus on database links. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this has a list of all of our databases. Um, we're going to focus on Academic Search Complete, which is the first one. Um, Academic Search Complete and this one called CINAHL Plus um, with full text. You may end up um, using that one. It has more medical information um, as you get further along in your classes. Um, CINAHL and Academic Search Complete, once we click on um, Academic Search Complete, um, you'll see the setup for the screen. Um, that database and CINAHL look very similar. And what I'm going to be showing you today, you can also use to search CINAHL, some tips and tricks um, for searching. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and click Academic Search Complete. And uh, my computer is going to go ahead and log me in automatically to the database. Um, if you are doing this on your laptop, um, it may, uh, it probably will connect you to um, the Heartland screen where you'll have to put in your, um, your email, your username and password um, for it to get into this, um, database for you. Okay, now that we are on uh, the Academic Search Complete page, um, a few things about this database. This database contains articles, um, a lot of different types of articles, mostly academic. Um, I'm going to show you how you can filter through um, when we are looking at our search results. Um, but the first thing is you'll see um, this shows um, that we are searching academic search complete, and then you see empty boxes. So if you have not used a database, um, just a few things to start. This is not like searching Google or another search engine. We have to use language that the database understands. So we can't put in questions. Um, we can put in words or phrases, but we have to be pretty specific about those words or phrases. So I'm going to use an example um, of a uh, research paper topic that you might be um, using for your class. So I'm going to be, I'm going to pretend I'm going to be writing a paper about the human microbiome and a mood disorder. The first step is think about your topic and then the most important words in that topic. So, hum whoops. human um, microbiome and as I start to type you'll see that the database is suggesting um, some things I can choose just this first one human microbiome which is what um, we're gonna start with but there's also other options there um, and we're gonna come back to that um, and then I also said mood disorders. So I'm going to put that in. So this is telling the database that I want to search human microbiome and mood disorders. What we should get is a combination of articles that contain both of these topics. I'm searching now.
and we can see that there are about 29 different articles that contain both of those topics. Okay, um, we can change up the way that we search. I always tell students that this is trial and error. Don't get hung up on the first time you search. If you don't see the search results, go and go to change your topic. This is um, something that takes a little bit of time and that's what can um, really frustrate people. Um, and I know I've been very frustrated before um, searching for information, but think about finding language that fits, um, your keywords that fit to um, get the database to understand what you want. Also, you may want to choose one of those other um, suggestions and this is going to get into some more advanced ways of searching um, with databases, and I'm going to explain it a little bit. So human microbiome, that is um, a topic that the database understands, but it's also suggesting or gut microbiome or microbiome or microbe. Now, if I click that, this will tell and you'll see that this is the whole phrase. Um, you just can't see it all. This will tell the database to search for any of those. You can see that the or in between, it's saying search, oops, um, search any of those search terms. So human microbiome or gut microbiome. So it's actually giving you more search results. And then I'm going to I'm going to go to um, the mood disorders and let's choose to start with mood disorders or depression or bipolar or anxiety. This will also help if an author has just um, been writing about um, depression but doesn't really use the words mood disorders we would miss that when we were searching so this is going to help give us more search results so i'm going to go ahead and search and let's take a look at how many search results we get now so now that we gave the database more um, keywords to choose from now we have about 379 Sometimes this is very helpful depending on your topic and sometimes it can get a little confusing. But for now, if you're just getting started with your topic and um, you wanna see the full um, search results, go ahead and try um, some options there. And if you end up deciding that you just wanna focus on the human microbiome and um, anxiety, you can go ahead and delete all the rest of this and get more focused search results for anxiety. Um, but for right now, let's take a look at these search results and um, get them a little more narrowed down for um, your assignment. So on this screen, again, we see the number of search results we have. And then we also have um, articles listed with numbers. Here's the titles of the articles. And then you have all the information about the article, um, the author, where this was published, and in what um, journal, so academic journal it was published, the year. Um, often you'll see if there's um, charts or graphs um, or um, photos within it. And then you'll also see how you can read that full text and in what ways. Um, be before we take a look at that, let's um, work on these search results to get it um, to be a little bit less um, than 379, um, but it's gonna be more focused on the, the type of articles you need. So I know that you need to have the last five years, um, and you can see some of these are published um, outside of that, um, that date range. So what you can do is go to um, the filters on the left-hand side, 
and you can change the publication date. So right now, these 379 articles were published anywhere from 1981 to 2021. So um, let's change this um, to 2016. And you can either type this in or use these sliders, and then I'm going to hit enter. So this is going to update our search. So now we have 228 published within the last five years. That's great. And then scrolling down a little bit further, we want academic journals. We don't want magazines. So when we talk about magazines, those are more like Rolling Stone, um, like Men's Health, things like that. We want academic journals, things that were written for academics or for, um, in this case, probably doctors. So now we have about 207. Um, we can also um, choose scholarly or peer-reviewed journals. That's like the cream of the crop of the best of the best of academic um, materials that have been published. Um, I'm going to leave it like this for now. And let's take a look at some of these articles. So here is an article, Gut Microbiota and Bipolar Disorder. So if you're interested in this article, here's a really good tip. If you um, hover your cursor over the little uh, mini page with the um, magnifying glass, you'll see a preview of the information about this article. And the most helpful thing is if you scroll down and you see the abstract, the abstract of an article is the summary. So you can quickly skim that and see if this article is going to be useful for you. So you can skim through, I see it's talking about bipolar disorder, um, gastrointestinal health, um, irritable bowel syndrome uh, disease. Uh, so if this is an article that you want to take a look at, you can go straight to the full text, but I am going to show you um, the way that I look at these articles, which is to click on the title. And the reason I do this is there's a lot more information on the next page that is going to be useful for you. Now you can take a look at the title. You can see all of the authors. The source is where this was published. So this was published in a journal, an academic journal called Psychopharmacology in May 2019. And you can scroll down and see the abstract. Things that are in bold, those are your search terms or what we put in with our keywords. Now, what is on this page um, that you won't see on the other pages is uh, these tools. What I do when I am searching is whenever I find a useful article, whether or not I think I might use it for sure in my paper later, is I want to save it. Uh, it's much easier to go through and save as you go than try to remember the title or article, um, author, authors, their names um, later on, because once you get started with this, it's going to get a little confusing because there are just so many articles out there. So what I would suggest is either um, go to the full text, download, save it to a Google Drive, um, or you can go ahead and create your um, works cited or references page and um, put in links. So um, the way that you could put a link in there is to click the permalink, that's down here. What you're going to see right above the title is this link. Now, the reason that you want a permalink, it's, it's permanent. Um, it's stable and it'll always take you back to this page. The URL link will disappear after some time. Um, and we won't be able to get back to this page. So if you're going to save the um, links, save the permalink. Um, if you go to either HTML full text or PDF full text on this page, this is where you can actually read the entire article and download it. 
I would suggest just going to this page and downloading the full article. So in the upper right hand corner, you'll see download, um, you can print it uh, and then save it. Make sure you save the title so you know the difference between the articles and then you can scroll through um, and take a look at this full article. Um, one tip I have for you, if you are having problems finding articles that are on your topic, but you do find one article, go to the references. Now this, um, this article has references that have um, hyperlinks, which are great. When this author or authors was researching their paper, they had to use references as well. So most likely you're going to find references that all are related to this topic because they had to do their research and find out information um, that they didn't know about and cited in their papers. So this is usually a, a gold mine for other information on your topic. So take a look at the references if you're struggling to find other um, articles for your paper. Okay, going back, I want to show you one more thing, which is um, the little site button. If I click that, I can scroll to APA. So this has a APA citation already created for this article. You can copy and paste this into your paper, but with any citation generator, well, it's this one, that Scriber one, um, any that you use, always double check it um, against like the Purdue OWL guidelines or another source because there can be um, errors in these. Usually they're a little harder to, um, to catch because it, it looks legit to, to begin with, but make sure you check those because you could probably get um, um, points off on your paper for having an incorrect citation. Okay. I'm going to go back uh, to this research guide. And I want you to know that you can click on any of these links to get help from us. Uh, we have ask, the Ask a Librarian link. You can chat with us in real time. You can send an email question in. You can also make a research appointment. And that is uh, just a meeting um, through Zoom one on one with one me or another librarian. If you have your topic and you're struggling to find articles, you can um, get help from us one on one. We can teach you how to find the articles or um, if you're just struggling and just can't find enough, um, we can help walk you through that. Um, so I hope you uh, got some information that was helpful out of this video and um, good luck with your assignment and have a great day.